Hello, and welcome back to another Website Depot podcast. As ever, I'm your host, Greg Benevent, and uh, today we're glad to be back with Noel Dombrowski. And uh, how you doing there, Noel? Doing pretty good. Pretty good for Tuesday. Absolutely, yes. Depend- no matter when you are watching this, for us it is Tuesday. So we are fighting through it here during the podcast. At, uh, and today, uh, we're gonna, Noelle's going to, we're glad to have her stop by. She's going to build on what she talked to us about in the last video, where, you know, she kind of went over the basics with you about how you can get started with your video. And now she's going to take you to the second step of that and show you some more ways that you can use some stuff that you already have that you might not know could really come in handy. So if you could kind of explain a bit more about that to us, Noel. Yeah, for sure. Um, so let's assume that you listened to our last podcast together and that you did all the things we talked about or you went and you shot some stuff and maybe not all of it was good, but that's that's the learning process. <laughs> and so, you know, or, or for example, you might have other things, other content that you might have, have accumulated that you're very proud of. Um, And these are all things that can have a new life because you're kind of building your stock the more that you you do these things. Um, So an example is we've got our podcast that we do with our clients. Um, And so that's great because you you really do get a chance to kind of like, people are are really uninhibited. They're talking about what they love doing. They're talking about their favorite projects. And so that's a great example of something that can be cut up into a bunch of different things, you know, different parts of, of... um, describing different processes, and uh, I'm going to pull up our, our podcast with Scope to kind of show an example. All right, let's see. So I have it up, I have it up here in my editing thing, so you'll have to tell me if it, like, works. <laughs> okay. Uh, so here, we can just kind of watch it through. It's about a, a minute, um, and then we can sure. maybe kind of talk about it. So... A restoration company is a company that you call whenever you have a property emergency. We do things like tree removals when they fall, water damage, fire damage. We do this 24-7. All of these emergencies that occur in your house, similarly to when, you know, somebody thinks that they have a broken arm or it hurts, you should definitely have all of these things assessed. Our assessments are, we go out, we take a look at it, and if it's nothing, we'll tell you it's nothing. You know, we're not going to tell you just because we showed up. Using a full service restoration company like us is very important. Somebody that can come in from start to finish, from the drying process to the demolition to removing your content and storing them to making sure that everything gets put back the way that it was. We work directly with the insurance company so that the homeowner is as little out of pocket as possible, if anything, you know. When you're with us, we're taking care of everything. So that's that's a pretty good standalone Mm -hmm. video. I like to think. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. No, I mean, I, I, I did the interview with Veronica, and I got caught up in the visuals. See, now that's what's it's interesting is you, you, you know, standing alone, you wouldn't know that this is that's an, a couple answers to a couple different questions. Oh wow! It's just a matter. I asked her the questions, and I didn't realize that. See, but that's so. I think that's an example of, and I'll stop sharing in a second. But I did want to show a couple of the the elements here to kind of break down what we're recycling. That's cool. So yeah, you you got her in a really good moment. And I think that's one of the keys of good content recycling, whether it's looking at a blog post that was successful, looking at, you know, and and looking at these moments that you have and and learning where to put them. And so if you keep an eye out for these things and the more you kind of train yourself to look, oh, what's something I really enjoyed from this that I can kind of dice up into little things. So this particular example is you you caught her talking about what she does and really explaining what a, a restoration service does. Then we're blessed to have a bunch of auxiliary content for Scope. Not everyone might have this. Here, this is a promotional video we shot for them right off the bat. And this just happens to be a day where they were on the job, they were cleaning, and the videographer was there uh, just rolling. Nothing special, nothing staged. And we can use this for a lot of different things now. And then the other thing that, you know, everybody tends to have a wealth of as long as they're, you know, they keep taking pictures on the job is, you know, you at work, you put a little motion on the, on the picture and it just adds a little bit of, of finesse. Um, yeah. But one in particular that's, that's my favorite that I just, I really want to show off is um, a progress picture. And this is my, you know, if you have nothing else, if you can post nothing else on like your Instagram story, I feel like something like this, just the before and after is so satisfying. Um, 
but these are just two pictures. I, I, you know, I think I messaged uh, Gene and I was like, hey, do you have like some pictures here? And they sent me these and it's just, <laughs> you can't, you can't deny that. That's, that's the work at its, at its best. So I, I, I think what was, uh, what I was so struck by and what you said there, Noel, was particularly early on when you said, um, you know, if you have pieces of content that, that you're proud of, and it, and it kind of hits me like, you know, it's, 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 if you're, you know, you got a business and maybe you haven't thought of it in terms of pride, it, it doesn't have to be something that you're like, wow, we're going to send this in for like an Emmy or to the film festival. Like, it's just, if it's something that seems, you know, that, that show like, like what you said, Noel, if it's something that shows what you do. Like it, it, it doesn't have to be that you're proud of the picture. It's proud of the, or proud of the content. That's what you know we're looking for. That's what the camera sees. That's what someone like you can turn into something great. You know, it, uh, that's the basis of all this. And it's and it, it you know and it, and I think it's also interesting for a business owner watching this. I mean, you saw Noel had any number of edits in there, all kinds of different stuff, but none of it was something. That you know, uh, I, I love Veronica, and we certainly get along. But it's not like uh, she had years and years of spokesperson training. I mean, this is all the course of working people doing their jobs, and it's and and because Scope had all of that content, someone like Noel was able to turn that into something else. But you know, and Noel would have done a great job, even if there had been less content. But it would, it might not have turned out to such a high level thing. So because there was that raw material, because that company made all of those things that made all of this possible, right? Mm -hmm. And that's like, I don't know, I feel like one of the things we talk about is like taking stuff that's already successful and recycling it. But I'm a big believer in really just like increasing your stock. Like I have friends, an example is I have friends who do uh, sound effects, you know, for, uh, for movies and stuff. And they just walk around and on a weekend, they'll, they'll go record sounds of birds. Cause they're like, oh, I want to get this, you know, and it's, it, it might seem silly, but you know, it's, they do that. They're like, oh, I want to get this really good door creak. Or like, you know, if they're, I have a friend who like live by a highway. He's like, I want this really good highway sound. Um, and you know, you don't use it right away, but you have it. So, you know, if you're on a job, it's like, just put it on the drive somewhere and wait for it, you know, but the more you can just start collecting stuff, the more you can start. Cause that's where the stories come from. It's like a documentary. That's what you do is you just, you start collecting things and then you find the story. And the story is, is, is like you said, Veronica, it's, it's the magic of somebody who really knows what they're talking about, who's able to, to let loose and, and do that. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, it's, it's, it's all these things, you know, and, 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 and it, it, it's, and the story and all the things we're talking about is just the course of your business doing their business. I mean, that's, that's, that's the story every day when you get up and go to work and do your job. That's the story. That's what you're selling. That's what you're, you know, just, just collect as much of that as possible. I mean, that's all, all the secondary things can come when that primary work is done. And now that I said that, I wish I hadn't said that. It's not work. It's just taking pictures and getting videos. There's nothing work about it. Just, just you can do it too. And then these things can be repackaged. And it's, you know, and obviously if you're putting these up on your own, your small business, you're putting them up on your own account, your own stories, and that you're not going to get the high level stuff here that Noel was able to do. But you'll be able to get some kind of start, foundation, beginning kind of thing. You know, is there... Um, is there anything else that like, you know, just off the top of your head, like a little thing someone should be careful of when they're taking pictures of their jobs or just, you know, collecting these random bits of a day in the life, anything you can think of? Or... Uh, if you do everything consciously, you're, you're going to learn more than you think, if that makes sense. If you're, in, yes. you know, I think there is, there's value to, you know, snap, snap, I'm going to go. But if you're somebody who, you know, like I said, you listen to the last podcast, you got iMovie. You want to start cutting promos for yourself. It's it's really not that. It's it's people get mystified by all like the technology of it, like you said. But there's there's people shoot stuff on iPhones that goes to festivals. Tangerine, fantastic shot on like an iPhone, you know. And there's all these things yeah. that and it's the magic. It's the you know, um, and that undeniable work. So the more you, if you know, all right, I'm on a job today. I'm proud of this. I'm going to take a picture. Take a moment take that picture and then, you know, don't just snap and move on because, you know, as if you're just thinking, you're looking and you're training your eye and the more you'll see, and I see it with the stuff that, that when I first started at Website Depot and now, you know, 
looking at, at what I've been trained to look for the more I, I work with certain businesses. Um, you're only going to get there the more that you do it. Um, so there's always that discouragement at the beginning where it's like, oh, you know, everything I'm doing sucks. I'm going to just quit. But you got to, the, the upside of that is you know that your taste level is good because you know that you're so new at it that what you're doing sucks. So just, just keep taking pictures and keep pushing and keep storing it. Because even if you don't use it, you'll, you'll see this is the gig from last week versus the gig from three weeks ago. And look at just how much more elevated the work, that the pictures, the videos, the stuff you're doing is. And it's all valuable for us because then you can send it to me too and I'll, I'll cut it up. But. <laughs> and that's right. And, and, and really, that, that's what a great sentiment to end on. The idea of, okay, if, this, if you took this picture and it wasn't great, well, take the next one. I mean, it all is some bit of training. It's, it's, you know, it's not like the old days where you have a Kodak roll and you're suddenly out of film. Like you have a camera you're on your phone. You can keep going. That, and I think, I, I, I think that's a little sentiment to end on, Noel, about how you can keep going. So, well, thank you so much for doing this again. Thanks for having me. Well, we're always glad to have you, and we're, we're going to keep having you on this, I hope. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so, Absolutely. And again, and thank you so much. Absolutely. Oh. And, uh, and thank you so much for those of you listening and watching out there at home. Uh, on behalf of Website Depot, my name is Greg Benevent. Thank you. Take it easy.